Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can import from AutoCAD into SketchUp. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Import. You see the format types that uh, we can import here are listed. Uh, you can import from .3ds, .dwg, .dxf, and so on. I'm going to leave it on all supported types, and I want to bring my first floor plan here. Let's go with Import. Okay, uh, I actually also need to uh, check the units. So in this file, uh, I have set my units to meters. I want to go with three decimal places so I can check the millimeters. Uh, this is good. And I know that uh, my CAD file was also on meters. So uh, that also works fine in this file. Uh, you can double check the units, but um, it seems to be correct. I want to move this maybe to the corner. So now it seems better. Uh, this is my first floor, right? And whenever you bring a file from CAD, if you go to tags, you see that uh, the files are here. If you think it's a little bit crowded, you can turn the furniture layer off maybe. But I'm going to leave the rest of them on. We can also bring the second floor plan. And because they're in the same layers, the layers would not be duplicated. It's just going to go under the right layer. So I'm going to go with import, second floor. OK, and actually they are now on top of each other. Uh, this is my first floor. This other one is my second floor. I want to move it outside. So uh, if you have one DWG file, you can import it as one for the two floors, or you can make a save as and go with different ones. Uh, I feel more comfortable like this for the first floor plan and the second floor plan to be in two different groups. That's uh, why I prefer to import them separately. Uh, we're going to create uh, uh, like floors, walls, etc. one by one. Uh, I just want to go with one rectangle for the floor. So let's type R. I'm going to go very simple for now. So let's say this is my floor. You can hit uh, P for push, and I'm going to push it down by 0.3. Right? Uh, let's go with a space. Space goes to selection. So everything I create, I want to make a group out of it. Uh, how about I hide the plant for a second? And this whole floor needs to be a group. So make a group. So later when we want to assign material or when we create the walls, they're not going to attach to each other. It's important to have as many groups as you need. I want to go to hidden geometry uh, or hidden objects, select the group, and unhide the group. Yeah, if the floor is kind of distracting, you can move it outside and we can bring it back later, right? So uh, how about I go to my top view? I want to start drawing my walls. Uh, how about I go with the overall walls first? You see there is a glass wall here. I'm not going to include it for now. It's going to be different with mullions later. So I want to go with L for line. Let's start from here. I'm going to follow the external walls that we have here, right? And then I just want to go with R for rectangle and draw these rectangles inside uh, so they will be separated and I can simply er erase them so only the footprint of the walls would remain. I want to hit it. Uh, a space. Let me create these other two rectangles here. Uh, I want to hit a space. Now I can select this, delete, 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 delete. Uh, this one I want to go with line because there is a column here, so it's a little bit different. So let's go with L. I think there is a little bit of a discrepancy in the CAD file. And one other line here for, oh, excuse me, let me, let me delete this. Uh, you can hit a space, delete that, get back to line. Uh, 
Uh, so let's delete this plane, delete this plane. I'm going to go back to my uh, 3D view. Now this all looks good. How about I hide my uh, group for a second. I can also go with removing hidden objects. Uh, so this all looks good. I want to go with push or pull and I want to go with 2.8 for the height. Hit a space, that all looks good. Uh, now I want to draw a window here to only select the walls going from left to right and I want to make a group out of the walls. Now we can bring back the hidden objects and we can unhide uh, this group. Also it seems that I missed one spot over there so I'm gonna double click on the group for the walls and I wanna go with R for rectangle from here to here, P and I wanna push this uh, same as the other uh, parts so it's gonna be 2.8. Now if I close this group this column is also part of the walls and it makes sense because usually the exterior material is going to be the same. Uh, we'll worry about the materials. Uh, so far we have the walls group, we have a group for the floor plan and one for the floor itself uh, and we can bring back the floor later. Uh, let's also take care of the uh, groups here. So I want to uh, maybe draw the walls for the second floor. Let's go here and I want to type R going from here to here. More rectangles inside just like the other one. Hit a space, you can delete this and L for this other one we're gonna use the lines space delete L again for line or instead of the shortcuts you can select the commands we're just gonna follow the walls for now we'll take care of the floor later so this can go uh, that all looks good. Also here I want to type R rectangle so the column will be created. Let's go to my view here. For this one let's say if I want to consider 2.2 for the interior walls uh, and then I want to go with um, 30 centimeters for the roof thickness 2.5 and, and then I want to go 0.9 for the parapet or 1 meter for the parapet so I need to actually uh, go with 3.5 for the exterior wall so it goes all the way to the top of the parapet uh, so for now I'm going to push the walls by 3.5 meters so P I'll go with 3.5 uh, but uh, in the other video I showed how to uh, separate the interior walls to create the parapet and the roof and I can go with like 2.2 for the column it's gonna go right below the roof um, we can take care of the walls either now or later but basically what we need to do is that now we can go with a set of lines here to separate the interior walls so we can push them inside the space. Now I want to, oh, uh, here it's uh, attached so I want to draw one line here and then space and I can delete this surface. Now it's better. How about I select all this surface and then push it down. It has to be the same height as the column which is 2.2. Uh, then hit a space. Now we can delete these extra lines. Uh, also I want to draw some tape lines, so T from here to here, um, also from here to here, 1.3 meters lower, from here to here and on the other side. Then I want to draw some lines. Uh, above this line the wall material is going to be different, that's why we need to draw a line to separate the surface to, so the material would be correct later. Let me hit a space, delete this extra 
planes that it's creating, hit line over there and over there, hit a space, delete this. Okay, so now this part and this part is separate, that's good. I also want to delete this line, delete this line. And when I delete this line, there is uh, there seems to be a problem. I want to draw some lines here to see what's the problem. L from here, space, delete this, L here. So now this is good. And how about I draw one rectangle from here to that corner, hit a space, delete this, and delete this extra areas. So now this part is going to have the material for the exterior wall. This wall is going to have the interior wall material. We are all good. And only these two last lines, I want to delete them. Everything is good now. Okay. Uh, feel free to erase these uh, reference lines. We don't need them. Uh, I want to hide the group for the plan here. Maybe I can go with remove hidden objects. So this is my walls for the second floor. Uh, let's make a group out of them. It's very important to make a group. So create group over there. Now I can go with uh, hidden objects again. Feel free to unhide uh, the plan. So, so far we have one, two, three groups plus two groups for the plan. And uh, now you want to create the floors for the second floor right uh, I can either create them here or over there uh, let's go to my uh, top view how about I create them right here uh, so I want to draw some lines here uh, let's go actually with rectangles or at the bottom here I want to draw one rectangle one over here one here one for this room for this other room, I'm going to go with uh, L. The reason I'm going with separate floors is that it's going to be easier to assign material to them later. Like the bathroom is going to have a different material. And uh, finally, for this part here, I'm going to follow the lines. Excuse me, I guess this line is not correct, L again over here. You just need to be just a little bit careful and patient when working with SketchUp and make a lot of groups as needed. Over here, over here, and it's gonna go over here, here, uh, and finally I'm gonna finish this here. This is gonna be a railing and there is a void down there, so over there, and finally here, right? So um, now if I like hide this and let's go with removing hidden geometry, uh, hidden objects, also I want to hide this maybe. Uh, these are the floor surfaces and I want to push them down because top of the floor has to match with uh, the wall here. So that's how it works. I'm going to go with P. Let's say maybe it's 0.2. So I want to go with 0.2. And for the rest of them, when you push, you can just hover the mouse around here and it knows that it's going to be the same value, one uh, inside here, and finally this one. So this is the set of floors for the second floor. Now we can assign different material and everything. And just like anything else, we have to make a group out of it. So right click, create a group, make a group. Uh, so now you want to unhide other stuff, unhide and unhide here. Okay, uh, so so far we have like one, two, three, four groups for the geometries and two groups for the plan. And now you can assemble the whole thing, so feel free to move these uh, floors, actually the top of it. You can move it back inside. This is now good. Hit a space. We can select all the objects here as well, which is three groups, wall, floor, and the plan. And we can move this from this corner to that corner over there. 
and as you see the top of the floor here let me go with shift and z uh, the top of the floor here uh, is actually aligned with the walls over there that's how it should be uh, if you feel more comfortable uh, creating doors and windows while the two floors are separate and creating the stairs maybe we can uh, keep this separate for now uh, or you can only just uh, move the floors here and keep the rest as it is uh, and when you are done with all the doors and windows and everything then we can assemble the two together